Okay, I wanted to show you about uh, printing up digital plans at home. You see, I've got this all uh, printed up and put together. But while we're here, we have a look at my work table. Of course, I've put a piece of cardboard under here to protect the wood. And then I got a piece of sheet metal. And then you can get these from Harbor Freight. They're like 50 cents a piece and they're pretty strong magnets. As you can see, I place it all in here when I'm gluing things together and just to hold it in place. And then I'll run a dab of CA in all the joints. Once I get it to a solid piece, then I can take and paint a light coat of epoxy in all the joints, even fill in little cracks and stuff, sand it all down smooth, and get it prepared for covering. And it's a pretty easy process. And of course, in the last video, I showed you how to make a jig uh, to cut this stuff out in light burn. But anyway, what we're going to do is take a digital file and print it up, tape it all together, and you'll have the scale just right, and you can make plans right in, right in your own house. Okay, so the first thing you got to have a set of plans. So I went back and searched up using the search button right there uh, the De Havilland Beaver that I'm working on. And if you saw the last video about the jig, you recognize those plans. And uh, how cool is that? I'd like to I'd like to have mine looking like that when it's done, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, another thing you can do which I, I like to do is download the pictures that they have in this just to give me some idea of what I'm working towards because you're taking two dimensions in laser uh, light burn and trying to come up with a three-dimensional object and so these pictures can help you a whole lot in getting that done. Okay, so you come down here and, of course, hit plan file and download the PDF. And you can open that PDF directly into Lightburn. All right, I like to get the supplement on some of these because you'll get pictures. Uh, you can read the article if you want to. Uh, another uh, deal there where it's showing uh, three dimensions uh, where you can kind of check out what you're doing. Uh, Right here, for instance, they're putting a, a geared electric motor in this. What I'm going to end up doing, this top piece is going to come back a little further because I'm going to put a brushless outrunner sticking out. And I want it to come out just right out of the cowling, which I'm going to end up kind of like this, building cowling out of wood. Um, but I'm also going to wrap this entire piece around the sides in some really thin light ply which may require soaking it in water and alcohol rubbing alcohol to soften it up and then once I get it to where I can wrap it around that then I'll run some tape around to hold it in place and let it dry so that it form fits okay now you open this up in Adobe Acrobat Reader, which is a free download. And if you see here, we got more than one page. Really only want to print the plan part out, so. Once you click on File, Print, or Control P to bring up the print dialog. Set this to Poster, make sure your scaling's 100%. You can add these cut marks, and we'll use those later on, I'll show you. This shows you what you're going to come up with. You're going to end up uh, printing all these pages at 77 by 42 and a half inches. You can go into Lightburn and measure this all off and make sure that that's right before you print, but so far everything has been uh, worked right for me. 
uh, printing it directly off the digital thing. Anyway, and then page one of three. So look at that close. Remember, we don't want these others unless you just want to print them up. So you come up here, current page. After everything's printed up, you're going to end up with sheets, cut marks. I just take a straight edge, lay it across there, just sharp blade. I cut across the bottom and on the right hand side, start with the far left corner and then run that out and run the next out and run the next out. Do that however you want to. But you end up, once one side is cut, where you can line that up, where everything will be just right. And then tape it together. You end up with this. You can uh, open up the digital file in Lightburn and use your measuring in there and say measure the full length of the fuselage and do it with a tape measure here and just kind of verify that what you've got in a digital file in Lightburn is the same as this. After that, you're ready to start building.